Hi there, this is Live Prepper here. And guess what? I'm going to show you what to do with some potato chip bags. You know, we buy, a lot of people who put things up, they buy galvanized bags and it costs a small fortune. These bags are galvanized bags. We just throw them like every day. What you're going to do, you're going to take two bags. And you're going to take the first bag. And you're going to take whatever it is, food you want to put in here. And you, I put in one of my bags, I want to show you shortly, I put up some Roman noodles in there and some of this here, beef jerky. In a situation, you got to dry your meat, you know, and things like that, but you want a piece where you can have a meal. What I do, it's real simple, it's not hard to do. Once you put, you get your water good and boiling, you put your ingredients in here, and it's the same goal with dry beans. Once you wash it off and everything, then you take it. Put whatever you want on here. Paper clips, um, bobby pins, whatever, to fold it into. Then you're going to take it and place it in the other bag. Now I'm going to tell you what I did. Probably the best thing to really do is put this in the bag ahead of time. It's probably better to do, but I didn't do it. I did it the other way. And then once you slide it in here, and this is all sealed up. You can take the second bag, fold it over after you got the other one folded down to whatever. Make sure the other one's folded down far enough. I got some bobby pins right here. As you can see. Whoops, I dropped one. You can use clothes pins, bobby pins, whatever it is you got on hand. And then that's how simple it is to seal it. Now, this here is the bag. And it's still warm. And you can see here, I put a, my hair bow on here. It's clipped in. I also have another hair piece here. That's what I'm saying. You use whatever you got. And I put a bobby pin here. Now, boy, it is still really warm. The reason you're doing it with two bags is you're insulating this other one. And I can smell it. Oh, I can smell it really good. So now, I'm going to slide this here out. There we go. You see how full that is? Now, I put boiling water in it. And it's leaking. Uh, what's up, Phil? It's maybe uh, leaking a little bit. No, I don't think so. But all I did was fold it up a couple times, put paper clips on it. I'm going to set this here to the side. And it's still warm, like I said. Real easy, real simple. Ooh. And I added more water than I really needed to add into this. But that's okay. And then you just take your bags. You can air dry them, wipe them out, and reuse them. So now, I'm going to show you all this. Look here. This here is the beef jerky. Wow. Nice and cushiony, soft. If I want to leave it in there longer, it was still warm. If you want to take it and double bag it and put it back into a pan of water, you can. Look here. Look at all that. Mmm. The noodles are done. I put my spices in there. I will. The juice here is uh, great for making a soup with. Mmm, nom, 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 nom. Good. I want to just tell you what. I say you see here the noodles are done. The beef jerky is nice and soft. It ha it has all the spices in it. So that's all you do. Take you a couple of bags. Save get you know get your family to save your potato chip bags for you. Just take and wipe the inside of them out, and dry them out real good. Leave it, you know, leave it open, dry them out, wipe it out, save your bags, and you can reuse them all the time. In an SHTF situation, if you're a prepper, a survivor's bush, or if you just like camping, just heat your water up, you put it in here, you wrap it up, put it up somewhere where the animals ain't going to get to it or whatever. Or you got other things you want to do around the camp, but you don't want to spend all this time cooking. There you go. 20, 30 minutes later, 
As it starts slowly cooling now, the noodles are done. Mmm. Still warm. Wow. Mmm. Nice and soft. You know, let me know what you do. Try some, uh, how about dry beans? Dry beans. Rinse them. Why don't you try some rinsing some dry beans off? Take them and put them in a bag. Add you some boiling hot water in it. Seal it up. And then let me know how it turned out. Because I bet you it would be halfway cooked for you. And you can finish cooking it the next day without having to spend all that much time on making a bunch of dry beans up. That real simple, real easy. Boy, I'm gonna eat this here. This is good. Got my soup here. You got a liquid base here to help give you the fluids. You got your noodles, you got your beef jerky. That way you can carry your beef jerky with you, whatever situation. You've got it, and then you can freshen it up right here, and you got it all good to go. You know, experiment. Make you up some bags if you want to. Make you can take these bags up and make you up some bags ahead of time. Uh, whatever you want in these, put a little label on it, boil your water, put it in here, seal it up again, put it in another bag, and seal that bag up with whatever. Paper clips, keep paper clips on hand, clothes pins, whatever it is you want to use. Paper clips don't stick out as far, so you know, a box, a package of paper clips that don't cost much, put them in a little Ziploc bag or a little jar or whatever to keep up to use for that. Can't go wrong. So this is live prepper here with another little simple trick to save money on gamma dollars bags. You can make your own little meals for your camping trips and stuff. You can turn around and iron them and seal them up and put stuff in there and put it up in your cabinets. Can't beat that. You can get your some dry beans, wrench them off, put them in there, put some boiling hot water in there, seal it up, let it sit overnight. Next morning, take it out, finish cooking them. Real simple. So this is a live prepper here, Wallow Jones. Wants you to be safe, be happy. Bless you.